Hello, welcome to the second numerical on Rayleigh-Ritz method. The problem statement is as follows: the, Using the RR method or the Rayleigh-Ritz method, determine the displacement at midpoint, which is this, and stress in linear one-dimensional rod as shown. This is the bar. Use second degree approximation polynomial for displacement. We did not have to worry about the type of displacement function that we need to consider or the degree of the polynomial displacement function that we are going to assume. Both has been given in the question itself. So, solution. As usual, we will first obtain the potential energy functional, potential energy functional, which is pi is equal to strain energy plus the work potential. Now we need to obtain the strain energy as well as the work potential for the given bar. So for bars, strain energy is given by A by 2 integral from 0 to L dou u by dou x whole square into dx. Capital L is the total length of the bar which is 2 meters in this case. Okay. Work potential is given by minus P into U1. Wherever the load is being applied at that particular location, the displacement U1. Uh, for the present case, strain energy will be equal to A e by 2, A and E are equal to 1, we can substitute that if you want to, 0 to 2 limits dou u by dou x whole square dx and work potential is equal to P value is 2 kilo newtons, I will retain the kilo, I will put it as 2 u1. So now we have the formulation for potential energy ready. If you substitute the values of strain energy and potential energy functional, so pi is, if I substitute pi is now equal to A e by 2 0 to 2 dou u by dou x whole square dx minus 2 into u1. So, this is the potential energy functional that we have obtained. Let us call this as equation 1. The question itself says that we need to assume a second degree approximation polynomial. So, let the second degree approximate displacement function b u equals a1 sorry a0 plus a1x this is the first degree plus a2 x square call this as equation now apply the boundary conditions to this, applying the boundary conditions, so what are the different boundary conditions that are available, one is at L equals 0, displacement is 0, at L equals 2 meters, displacement is 0, 
and at L equals 1 meter, the displacement will be the unknown displacement U1. So, applying the boundary conditions, the very first boundary condition is at x equals 0, u equals 0, therefore a naught will be equal to x and x becomes 0, so a1, a2 will be cancelled, u is 0, so a naught is also equal to 0. So, equation 2 now becomes equation 2 becomes u equals a1x plus a2x square. Let us call this as equation 3. Now there is one more boundary condition at x equals 2. At this end, we apply the boundary condition u is again 0. So, equation 3 becomes 0 equals 2 a1 plus 4 a2 or a1 is equals to minus 2 a2. All this as equation or we will substitute and then we will name the equation. So, at now equation 3 will become equation 3 becomes u equals minus 2 a2 plus x minus 2 a2 into x plus a2 x square. Let us say this as equation 4. Also there is one more boundary condition that is at x equals 1 u is equal to u1. So this equation 4 becomes equation 4 becomes u1 equals minus 2a2 plus a2 or u1 is equal to minus a2. Call this as equation 5. Now, going further, Substituting all those values into the potential energy functional. Substituting equation 4 and 5 in equation 1. pi is equals to a e by 2 from limits 0 to 2 do minus 2 a 2 x plus a 2 x square divided by do x which is do u by do x u value we have obtained from equation 4 into this is whole square into dx minus 2 a2 or pi equals a e by 2 limits 0 to 2. If you differentiate this 2 a2 plus 2 a2 x whole square dx minus 2 a2 and doing the integral to this pi equals a e by 2 0 to 2 
for opening the brackets first before we do the integral it will be 4 a2 square plus 4 a2 square x square minus 2 8 a2 square x into dx minus 2 a2 so integrating this term now will give us a by 2 0 to 2 the integral will be 4 or this among this 4 a2 square x plus 4 a2 square x cube by 3 minus 8 a2 square x square by 2 limits 0 to 2 minus 2 a2 this is a by 2 applying the limits will obtain like 4a2 square is almost common everywhere and since it is constant you can take it out and apply the limits 2 plus 2 cube is 8 by 3 minus 4a2 square you have taken it out so 2 2 they get cancelled you will be left with only x square 2 square is 4 minus 2 a2 so pi is equals to 4 ae by 3 now we will get 2 this when you simplify you will get it as 4 ae by 3 a2 square minus 2 a2 I will call this as equation 6 Next, minimizing this potential energy functional. So, minimizing the potential energy functional energy functional dou pi by the variable is a2 dou a2 is equal to 0. So, when we do this dou pi by dou A2 is nothing but 8 A by 3 A2 minus 2 equals 0 or 8 a e by 3 a 2 is equals to 2 or a 2 is equal to if you substitute 6 uh, that is the value of the a and e which has been given so if you consider a equals e equals 1 so it will be directly 6 by 8 or 3 by 4 which is equals to 0 0.75 0 0.75 therefore displacement at midpoint displacement at midpoint is given by is given by equation 5 so what is equation 5 u1 equals minus a2 so u1 equals minus a2 which is equal to minus 0 0.75 meters so 0.75 meters is the displacement stress in the bar 
is given by it is not p by a you don't know the or you can use that as well or you can use this e into epsilon which is nothing but e into do u by do x so from equation 4 from equation 4 do u by do x is minus 2 a2 plus 2 a2x so sigma is equal to e into 2a2x minus 1 so when you do this you will obtain the even you substitute the values you will obtain the values of sigma so sigma value at different locations at x equals 0 and you substitute sigma is equals to this becomes 0 equals 0 x value is 0 so when x is 0 minus 1 minus 2 a2 a2 is 0.75 so when a2 is or this will be minus 2 times a2 so minus 2 into 0.75 is minus 1.5 load is in kilonewton meters is the unit of length so kilonewton by meter square at x equals 1 sigma equals this becomes 0 that is 0 finally at x equals 2 sigma is 2 minus 1 is 1 2 a 2 which is 1.5 kilo newton per meter square so this is the solution thank you for watching we will take up further problems on bars in the next session thank you